Hi, I'm Julia Casca with JK Zen Fitness. I'm gonna show you the steps to do reverse lat raises. So first of all, when you're doing your lat raises, you're working your posterior shoulder, which is a very small muscle group. And you wanna choose a weight that is a lighter weight than you think would be the weight you'd wanna work. So what happens if you choose a heavy weight, you're gonna end up using your rhomboids and the larger muscles in your back. By choosing an appropriate weight, you'll target those muscles properly. So reverse flies are done bent over, but I wanna show you the difference. So if I were using a heavy weight, my shoulder blades would be pulling together like this. Using an appropriate weight, they stay wide and I'm focusing on the posterior deltoid. See the difference? Heavy weight, I end up squeezing in. And on a lighter weight, I can keep them wide. So the correct way to do a reverse fly is you're gonna bend at the hips and give a softness in your knees. Reach the arms down in front of you, directly in front of your chest. And you'll notice that my arm is not bent and it's not straight. There's about a 10 to 30 degree angle at the elbow. On the exhale, tighten the abs and bring the arms up to the side, squeezing the back of your shoulder, the rear delts. And at the top, give it a little squeeze, hold, and then release down. Keeping the angle of the elbow the same the whole way through the arc. And again, you'll notice that my shoulder blades aren't coming together in my back, they're staying wide. Try 12 to 15 of those, and then you can increase your weight. And that's how we work our posterior deltoid, doing a reverse fly. I'm Julia Kask with JK Zen Fitness. Thank you.